Hello everyone, today we are going to speak about uh, pulmonary embolism. Uh, first thing we'll speak about uh, what is the criteria. Well, the criteria uh, is the criteria that include uh, some points about uh, the patient's history and uh, physical examination. According to these criteria, we can uh, classify pulmonary embolism into two categories and uh, after that we can uh, decide the type of uh, management of this patient. So we will give three points if the patient has clinical signs of thrombosis and also we give three points if other diagnoses are less likely, one point high, one and a half point if heart rate more than 100, one half point if history of DVT and pulmonary embolism and uh, sorry one point half point five uh, point if uh, the patient is bedridden for more than three days or uh, had severe surgery history uh, in the last four weeks and give one point if the patient is having hemoptysis and also give one point if the patient is having active CA or on treatment of CA in the last six months. So collect the points if these if the result was less than four, so we will send the patient for the D-dimer. If the D-dimer is negative, we can easily exclude the diagnosis of pulmonary embolism. But if the diagnosis is, sorry, if the result of the D-dimer is positive, we send the patient for CT pulmonary angiography and give a treatment according to severity. If all the criteria points more than four or equal to four, we can go directly to CT pulmonary embolism and give a treatment. Treatment of pulmonary embolism also divided according to uh, hemodynamic unstability. If the patient is hemodynamic unstable, such as hypotension, uh, we can give uh, thrombolysis. Thrombolysis is different from thrombolysis of MI. Uh, we should give uh, 90 ml then 10 ml sorry 10 ml then 90 ml if uh, stable we can start with heparin for five days with warfarin and continue warfarin after that and uh, the duration of warfarin is also depend on the diagnosis and the other treatment is iv if you have a cava filter so the duration of treatment uh, is different and uh, according to the diagnosis. If provoked pulmonary embolism, provoked pulmonary embolism, that means we know the cause, we give for three weeks to three months. If unprovoked, we can give three months to three to six months. If the diagnosis is CA, we should continue for six months. If the diagnosis is pregnancy, we can give until delivery. Thank you.